Hey Pisces, what's up y'all? How are y'all feeling? I hope y'all are doing well. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you all so much for joining me. All right, Pisces, let's get the preliminary out of the way. You have Pisces placements. This could resonate. It's not going to resonate with every single Pisces. Take what's yours. Leave the rest for someone else. Flip the rose if you need to. Could be the other person I'm picking up on. Could be past, present, or future energy. Don't try to force anything to fit. That's not your story. I am not trying to trigger anyone. I am just here to help you to get like a little peek into the future. See what's going on behind the scenes. Things you may not know. Intentions you may not be aware of. Y'all know the spill. Let's get into this. All right, Pisces. Person on your mind. Who are you thinking about? Who's thinking about you? What is happening in your connection? We are going to use the tarot as well as my oracle decks here. Let's get some overall energy between you and whomever you're connecting to or connected to. Maybe they haven't come yet. I don't know. Let's see here. I'm going to shuffle three times and take whatever's on top. I'm only pulling one card. If I don't get the answer, I will pull a second card. If I don't get the clarity that I I go another time. Let's see. Parent energy. I mean, no, the overall energy. You and I are magic, okay? Some of you are dealing with a fixed sign here. Somebody you're destined to be with, a Leo, a Scorpio, a Taurus, or an um, Aquarius. I don't get these cards. Okay, let's get um the current energy or recent past between you and this person. So the overall energy is they feel you two are magic. You make magic. You are magic. You become magic when you link up. Let's get into this. All right. Karen energy. Conclusions, endings, and new beginnings. The number 10. So a cycle has closed out. I have mastered hiding my feelings to protect myself from being hurt. So maybe somebody here wasn't willing to open up to you, but they are now, yeah, we have a full, a full circle moment. You're at the finish line, the end of an old cycle, start of a new or next cycle. It says, um, a recent, what in the world? Why can't I understand my, <laughs> I can't understand my own writing, y'all. Okay, I'm going to keep it moving because, all right, so the, the tens reduced to a one, which means new, right? So it's, a, it's an ending at the same time it's a beginning because tens represent the conclusion and it reduces to a one, which represents going into a new phase or a new beginning. So this is birth, life, harvest, death over and over again. So essentially, we never truly die. There's never truly death. We're always transitioning and transforming, you know, transitioning. Did I say that right? Excuse me. All right. So uh, this is the Wheel of Fortune. I just told y'all that y'all could be dealing with a fixed sign. Some of you are dealing with either a Leo, a Scorpio, Aquarius, or Taurus. This is about, you know, what goes around comes around. It's about fate, destiny, and ups and downs. So you've been through a lot with this person, but I feel like now they're ready to take things to that next level. They're ready to get rid of this feeling of hiding. They've been hiding their feelings for you, hiding their emotions for you, and they're tired of doing that. They're ready to open up to you. All right, so them being a fixed sign, that would definitely make sense. Being very stubborn, stuck, and set in their ways. And your love is pulling them out of that. So let's see. I keep saying Leo. Some of y'all are dealing with a Leo. It could just be any fire sign. I'm just seeing Leo, though. Okay, what you don't see coming. We have the Five of Pentacles. Distant, depressed, isolated, out in the cold. Okay, that's Taurus energy. Mm, I told y'all, y'all been having issues with the Taurus. Maybe that's what you're ending things with. This could be a new person coming in. The answer to your question arrives by text or written communication. Be on the lookout. We're going to clarify with the tarot because I don't exactly know what that means. That's talking about being left out in the cold by someone. Like an abandoned it, um, energy. Feeling like you don't fit in. Feeling like you're outcast. Also money issues. I don't know. Y'all money has been looking good in y'all reading, so I don't feel like that has anything to do with your money. Maybe the person you're connected to is going through money issues. We will see. Biggest challenge here between you and this person. Or maybe this is just someone who's been distant and let you out, Nicole. I enjoy your company. You're very interesting to me. It takes a lot to get and keep my attention. So again, this is a person who doesn't usually let people in. That's been the challenge. I need to redeem myself is at the bottom of the deck. Let's move on. 
and get the outcome and then clarify Pisces. Okay. Spirit, please show me what I need to see for Pisces when it comes to the outcome between them and their person. What is happening here? Look forward to hearing from this person soon. They miss you. You're about to receive an offer you can't refuse. Can't make it up. And I believe that somebody is, they've changed for the better. What is you and I are magic? I have two groups here though. One of you, one of the groups here, this is the same person through and through. The others of you, there is somebody here that you're walking away from. Could be a Taurus. Things ended with someone else and there's somebody new coming in. Okay. All right, let's get you and I our magic as the overall energy pages for it. Yes, very cautious. Ten of Cups, Pisces, that's you. King of Pentacles, King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. We got two masculines here. I told you, some of y'all, there's two different people. Somebody you have a family with, somebody you have children with for a lot of you. Um, hmm. This person is coming back very confident. I feel like there's been some kind of structure here. A lot of you either live with this person, have children with this person, or at least you have in the past. I don't know if you still do. Another um, Pisces or an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You also have Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini here. Somebody who is watching you and guarded. This person is definitely very guarded. They take their time. It says um, that they have mastered protecting themselves from being hurt. So you and I are magic. This is a person who's very, very intrigued by you, captivated by you. They love talking to you. They are very successful and they will be a provider and a protector, a very good father, a very good husband or wife or mother. So this person wants to, this is someone with the Midas touch. You know, this is someone who is, again, a provider and a protector with the Ten of Cups. This is happily ever after. They feel like this is what you two are destined for. They want to share their wealth with you. They want to share their world with you. Every time I see the King of Pentacles, I think about Mary J. Bosch, share my world. <laughs> All right, so we have here <sighs> King of Wands, bottom of the deck. So I'm feeling like this person is confident now. A lot of you, not to say that you needed to do this, but you've proven yourself to this person. Like they trust you now. They message hiding their feelings but they're ending that and ready for something new what is this knight of pentacles yeah it's been slow it's been a long time coming but that's a long-term commitment towards virgo capricorn four of cups this person feels like they may have come across as a bit self-absorbed indifferent not interested right just interested in the past and they were afraid to miss this opportunity with you so now they want to have this sacred union with you they see you as a soulmate Look at this, an apology, some heartfelt communication is coming in. This person definitely was guarded, definitely was blocking this gift from God, but now they're ready to receive it. Beautiful. Maybe apologizing to you for hiding their feelings. But now let's get into this, this here, which you don't see coming. I'm doing this wrong again. Y'all got to forgive me. Um, what you don't see coming is the five of pentacles. Why? Uh oh, yeah. Somebody missed you. Seven of Wands guarded. And the moon hiding their feelings and pet. Look at this. Some of them have been broken hearted. We got Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. So this person has had their heart broken in the past. It's complicated because their past still haunts them, right? They got a lot of illusions and fears when it comes to relationships. So they're very, they were blocking it. Very guarded, very protective over themselves. But they found that they miss you. They were distant and depressed and, you know, isolated from you, left you out in the cold. But then they started thinking about you reminiscing and they realized that they were the problem and they needed to open up their heart here. Pisces, this is your energy. It is possible this could be the other way around. Take it how it resonates. I don't know. Challenge here. I enjoy your company interested it takes a lot to get and keep my attention again more guarded energy an air sign for some of you knight of cups justice <laughs> and the ten of pentacles some of them have a family with someone else they got divorced before 
Somebody messed over their money before. We got Aries, we got Scorpio, Virgo, Libra, Cancer, and Pisces here. Some of them had a relationship, a marriage or something with someone before and it ended really badly. I feel like they gave this person a lot of love. And this is why they're so guarded with you. And this is why it takes a lot to get and keep their attention because they're closed off. They want something to be fair. And they feel like it was unfair in the past here. They were dealing with someone who did not give to them what they gave. A very unfair partner that they married before. A lot of money conflicts in that relationship. They were love bombed by someone before. Okay, what is... Looking forward to hearing from you soon as the outcome and you're about to receive an offer you can't refuse. A high priestess. <laughs> the sun, you got the best. Best card. Queen of Swords. Look, you might try to refuse it though. You might try to refuse it. Some of them feel like you might be guarded, but they want to offer you the world. The sun, happiest outcome, happiest card in the tarot deck. This is this is the ultimate happiness here. That this person wants to offer you but a lot of them feel like you might be a little closed off to it they they are fearing that you might refuse it here yeah they will marry you so we got capricorn libra Aquarius, gemini leo cancer pisces so look forward to hearing from this person soon they're missing you they they haven't been talking to you talking to you but you make this person very happy they're in love with you They've been holding back just how much they are in love with you. This could be their energy. This person turned their back or they resisted or they rejected you. And now they want you. Look forward to hearing from this person soon. They miss you. That might be the title of your reading. All right, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Peace.